right, hi guys. How are you guys today? We are going to start right in with a Cadent Tangulation. I love Cadent. I don't know if you guys know that, but I love Cadent. One of the easiest, funnest ways to draw a pattern. This one is, you will start, it's got some, quite a bit of wordage. So you use the Cadence Strokes. You First you put various uh, circles on your page and then you use the Cadence Strokes to create one Cadence Square connecting any four of the dots. Okay, Then you connect four more of the circles having your double lines go behind any previously drawn ones. So you do a double line here and then you do these any other four dots they don't have to make a s rectangle, but any other four dots going behind the one that you've already drawn, and so forth and so on until you have finished. Or, so like this is this one until it's finished, or you can just connect three dots instead of four, or you can do the first layer and then do another layer behind. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I feel like this would be fun to try. So let's do it. Let's zoom out. Turn on my light so I can see and you can see. Where'd my switch go? All right, what size do I want to do? I guess we want to do a fairly large one because in case we want to do colors in front, I let's see. That's not big enough. Let's do. Let's do it on yellow, orange. I guess that's orange. Okay, orange is it? Orange it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw some circles. Some big ones, some little ones, all over this page. I'm going to start with them kind of in the corners. Just so that I don't get too close to the edge. And then we're going to put some in here, and a bigger one, and one here, and one there. Maybe a tiny one, and a really big one, and a tiny one, and one there, and one here. We're just going to really random like that. Okay, so now we're going to pick four. Let's do... this one. and three and four. Okay, that's good to start. So let's pick this one this one, this one, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's do this. decided this one, right? And then back to this first one. Like that. 
Okay, and then we'll pick four. Let's pick this one, this one, this one, and that one. And go from here. Where did we say? Here, right? And then back to the first one, which is this one. Right? Yes. Okay. back to where we started, which was here. Like that. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Should we do more? I think we should do more. Let's do one here for sure. And here. And here, and here. There. That looks good. And now we're going to do do those four looks like it goes this way. I want it to do that. And where did I start? One, two, three, over here. Let's do that.
this one is lonely. Uh, let's put on a little one there. We'll put one there. We'll connect those four. just like that and there we have it we have a wonderful mixed up crazy tangulation of cadence i like it a lot we're going to of course shade doesn't really matter which direction it lives i don't think but let's shade it first before we sign Unders. There's a lot of them. We'll do some of these. This will be bits too. Looks like it should should be shaded there, where it gets close to the circle. Maybe some of these circles should be shaded. Why not? Right. Should I, should I be blending as I go so I don't lose what I'm doing? Probably. Let's blend. Blend as you go, Dawn. Blend as you go. I need a more pointy blending stump. Where's my pointy one? This one. It's almost too dark out here to draw. I can only draw out here for till around two o'clock. Then the sun goes behind behind the studio and I have a hard time seeing, even with my light on. And it's almost one o'clock. I can tell. It's getting dark already. It's alright. I have things I can do in the house. So I do a shall I do a, a card so I have something to talk about while I'm doing this because this is just gonna take some time it's not difficult have you ever been unfaithful in a relationship 
Well, that's kind of an inappropriate question now, isn't it? The answer to that is no. But my number of relationships has my whole lifetime has been very small. I met my husband a very long time ago. We were both barely out of high school. Who did I date when I was in high school? Yes, I did. But only one at a time. to junior college, community college, and I met my husband, so it wasn't, wasn't that long. And that was a long time ago. We are going to be celebrating our 40th wedding anniversary next year. We just celebrated our 39th. A month or two ago, I guess it would be two months ago now, looking at the calendar, when you were going to see this. So yeah, we've been married almost 40 years, and we've been together about 43 years, something like that. It's a long time. long enough ago that I barely remember the other couple of guys I ever dated. One I remember because he, he remained my best friend and, and then he, he passed on when before, before uh, my hubby and I got married. in a uh, motorcycle accident. The young man I went to uh, prom with he was young when he passed. I don't even think he was 20 yet. No, I don't think so. I know he was under 21. I don't even think he was 20. He might have been only 19. Because he passed... I don't even know if he... Did he graduate high school? He was a year younger than me. So he... might still have been in high school when he passed. I don't remember if he graduated or not so long ago. Lost in memories. Can you tell? Let's try another question. Let's get me out of my funk here. How have you served your country? 
interesting question. It, it assumes that you have, which is interesting. I have not served in an official capacity in any of the armed forces. But I guess that doesn't mean that you haven't served your country, does it? That takes some thought. Interesting question. I guess... Being a general ambassador for my country when I travel is being a not a jerk American because I know that there are some people when they travel uh, they do not leave a good impression of Americans as they travel. I know that's a thing. We encountered some of that when, when we were on our high school trip to Europe. We we definitely encountered some of that. Now I don't know if if it was because we were American or if it was just because we were students all in a large grouping that we they you know, anytime you have large numbers of students together you kind of tend to to get that, uh, you know, distrust of people. I need some highlights. And my battery is flashing at me. That stinks. Okay, I'm down to where I'm going to have to only do two. I usually can do three videos with one battery, but apparently I'm only going to be able to do two now. I'm going to have to remember that because she's a flash and hopefully I'm going to say goodbye now because if all of a sudden you don't get the end of this video, it's because the camera will have turned itself off unexpectedly so go out and do something nice for someone today make the world a better place I'm going to try to get this done before the battery gives up the ghost but I don't know I might not make it I'm a trying I love the highlights highlights make my day you guys know that huh Highlights my day. Gotta do that on some of these. Really bright highlights in some of those. Okay, I guess. That will do it. Okay. Well, that's not bad. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's see. How is it going to live? That way? I think that way. All right. So I have to sign it. And this is a cadent tangulation. Alrighty, you guys have a great day. I will see you on the next video. Um, go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. When you're traveling, don't be a jerk, um, no matter what country you're from. Um, and uh, I will see you later. Bye.